Hi, uh, the, uh, my name is Darius and welcome to um, this uh, little uh, lesson on how to recycle capsules. Um, these are capsules for this type, type of uh, coffee machine. It's called um, Nespresso capsules. And um, uh, you may have wondered uh, if you could ever make your own capsules from coffee. Um, and now you have a chance. I'll show you exactly the best way to make recycled capsules. Well, there are many types of Nespresso capsules. These, this one is an original one. It's gold, uh, looks gold, but it's actually plastic. It has uh, aluminum on this side and aluminum on this side, and the coffee is inside. This is the original. This is the recycled version. Still has, we'll, we'll use the original um, aluminum on the back, We'll fill it with coffee and we'll put a recycled uh, piece of aluminum on top. Very simply just pinched onto it after it's refilled. Uh, there is a te technique for gluing uh, using a honey or syrup, which I'll show you afterwards. Um, a aluminum capsule and I'm going to, that I'm going to recycle and take the knife in and same process, uh, we try to keep the aluminum so it, you get all the adhesive off and it, you have nothing on the edge. And that you have to do by slowly pulling on, pulling on the aluminum. This allows the aluminum to lift off. Oops, now this part, I, I, it came off by itself. I'm going to try to re grab it again. Almost done. Oh, now that was a good one. I was lucky. Nothing left. And now you take the grinds you can recycle also in the compost. So I will take it over and, and dump it. After having dumped the compost, you can rinse it out. Rinse the uh, capsule out. Just soap, soap and water or just water. Um, and that's it. Uh, really, this one is ready for um, reuse. Now you can let it dry. I let, let it dry this way and just sit it. Uh, sit it here to let it dry. After cleaning the capsule, you can start to fill it. Now, as you can see, this capsule that we cleaned and just showed you has already been used at least once before. Why? Because there are three pins that are normally used in a normal if you use it once, this one's been used twice, so it's already been used once. The pins, the holes don't line up. I, by experience, I would say you could use it quite a few times. You can see the holes there. Um, eventually, you may have to put a piece of aluminum also on the bottom. We're going to replace the top aluminum. Now, you see, it's very nice and clean. The surface is clean. You may need a knife to clean off the top surface. So now I'm going to fill it with coffee. Um, just just straight regular ground coffee probably you don't want it too fine filled the capsule we're going to do the fun part which is finicky but it's a lot of fun I think um, you it's basically we will glue a very small um, a, a pre-cut piece of aluminum which will fit on top and then we'll clip it down. You can, in fact, just do it without any, quote, glue. But I have found that you can reduce leaking of water and leaking of coffee and increase the pressure by putting a little bit of glue. Now, I use syrup, uh, pancake syrup. So, um, the cheap pancake syrup, um, uh, what I do uh, in order, I, I use two tools for it. Uh, this is an injection needle to hold it, um, and I have a little applicator which uh, I dip in into my syrup, and I put a little bit like that on it. Can you see that? See that little bit? And then I go around the edge, tapping it a little bit here, about eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now comes the finicky process of spreading it around. So I just spread it between the eight positions so that the aluminum cover will stay concealed there. Um, if you get a little coffee on it, you can make it off. 
Seal it. So sealing, tap it down, make sure it's nice and flat. My method is I use two fingers here and then two fingers on the side. That And then I push down and then I go and crimp it. Crimp, I do this crimping motion all around. And press and crimp, 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 press and press and crimp, 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 press it does press up against it, but this improves the um, the pressure. Uh, you should not have it go too far over the edge. That's that's fine. Uh, just up until some of them, I should say, there are some which have a lip. If you, on these ones, these these are the best I find. These are the aluminum with not plastic, complete aluminum. And they have a nice lip here on the edge, which holds it. You can still put some glue in there, uh, some syrup, and these are really good. These hardly leak at all. So, because of the lip. Okay, so now... Uh, press it down, squeeze it. Now the three prongs will go in. Um, and I will... I'm going to use a clear glass so you can see the espresso function really well. You can see how it comes out. Okay, here we go. You see, it's nice and foamy, perfect, and that's our espresso. Mm. Boy, that was good. So, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I just would like to say one thing. Um, these ones, uh, as I mentioned, the ones with a little lip on the edge are much better to use, um, and um, I think you'll find um, uh, that you can use them. I've, this one you can see that the bottom has been used so many times. I must have used it uh, 15, 10, 15 times, and it still is working. Uh, even though it has many holes on the bottom, very little leakage. The leakage seems, I've noticed, seems to come from the top. And because this has a good leak, lip on it with a pancake um, syrup as a glue, uh, these can be used many times. Um, so I, I would go to add one more interesting thing, which is to add spices like anise or cloves, and um, uh, I was and cinnamon. Uh, next next time I'll show you how to do that. That's very easily. Um, thank you very much, and um, talk to you later.